One of the things I got a chance to do was go to the beach yesterday. It was totally unexpected, and it worked perfectly because I've been thinking about rocks and sand and all of these sorts of things because of the passage that we're going to read in Scripture today that comes from the book of Isaiah. Now, if you know anything about the Bible, it's not at all like a great kid's book because it doesn't have pictures in it, right? But we say often in kids' ministry that this is the picture. God has painted pictures of his truth in the skies and in the oceans and in the mountains and on the beaches. And so that's why he talks to us about things like trees and shepherds and sheep so that we can understand from the things that we can see, spiritual things that we can't see. So I want you to try and guess by opening your goodie bag what item of creation God is going to speak to us from today. Sorry for the rattling. These are biodegradable bags, but they're not quiet. <clears throat> the hint comes from this passage from Isaiah, and it says this, look, I am laying a stone in Zion, a stone that has been tested. It is the most important stone for a firm foundation, and the one who depends on that stone will never be shaken. So now it was said a few times, can any kid shout out or can all the kids shout out what piece of creation God might be using? It starts with an S. St st stone. Yes, this is easier when we're all up close together. Right. All right. Now it says that this is all about building. So you might be thinking of a, a regular old stone like a rock, but you need to put your construction hat on. I'm sure this is adorable. And... Think with your construction hat, because we're talking about building. Many of you have gotten my Lego toy boxes that I've prepared for you, and you can make houses, and that's kind of fun. And then the question is, what are you going to use as your most important stone? Now, in your baggie, you've got lots of little Legos. Does anybody know what word describes both a stone and a Lego? Older kids, you think you're asleep at the wheel. Can you do this one? A stone and a Lego. What word? Shout it. Brick, that is it, right? Legos, bricks, they're sharp. We parents know this in the dark, right? Now, it says that the cornerstone is the most important stone, the best stone, and in the biggest stone because it lays the foundation. Which of these would you use for your cornerstone? What color is it? You can shout it out. What color is your cornerstone? Red, blue, not gray probably, right? Is the gray one? That one's little. But, you know, when we're building on a stone that is firm and sure, that gives us a lot of confidence. And when this was shared from Isaiah, they didn't know who this stone was. They didn't know what he was talking about. When Jesus came, he said, I'm that stone. I'm the one you build your life on. And there's a great story about that that I wanted to display for you about building your house on the sand and the rock, but it would have, like, made a total mess. And so... We're going to stick with this, and I wonder if you can see that in your Lego bag, while it's not enough to build a house, it is enough to build a cross. So maybe you can put your construction hats on and figure out how to build a cross out of your Legos. And when you look at that cross, I hope you remember that this is the cornerstone. This is the most important thing. This is the thing you can trust in as you build your life and you make your decisions and you decide what is most important. 